We all start life as tiny, vulnerable babies. This is Harry, and for now, he is entirely dependent on his parents. But his story started about nine months ago with a process called fertilization. Harry's story really starts here in his mum's ovaries. About once a month, a female gamete, or egg cell, is released from the ovaries. This is ovulation. Once released, the egg travels along the oviduct, moved by millions of tiny hairs called cilia on the walls of the tube. On the month that Harry was conceived, the egg was fertilised by a sperm, the male gamete, from his dad. During ejaculation, millions of sperm are released into the vagina and begin the journey through the uterus to the oviducts and towards the egg. Only one sperm cell is successful. It burrows into the egg. This is fertilisation. Harry has been conceived. The fertilised egg cell divides several times, forming an embryo, which travels the rest of the way down the oviduct and implants into the wall of the uterus. Harry's mum is now pregnant. The implanted embryo develops into a fetus. This grows in the uterus for about nine months, gradually changing his mum's shape. Eventually, it is time for Harry to be born.